Okay, we got a 2018 Toyota Camry. What we did, we added the shock sensor add-on to the factory alarm. Uh, pretty much uh, is what he was missing because these cars don't really come with any type of uh, impact sensor. The only way it works is if the door's been opened. So by adding the shock sensor, it's converting the vehicle to uh, uh, like if it was an aftermarket alarm without installing an aftermarket alarm. You're gonna notice uh, you have the, in the, by the airbag passenger airbag thing, you have a little light there. When you lock the door, it's gonna be solid red. Once it starts flashing, that means the factory alarm is activated, like it is right now, it's starting to flash right now. Okay, uh, so uh, if anybody walks up and they try to leave the car in full brakes, uh, try to remove the lug nut locks, or any vandalizing around the vehicle, Fire off the alarm, set off the alarm. Uh, I, I armed it again. We're gonna wait for that little light to start flashing because uh, the factory alarms have a little delay. That delay is not me. That's the way they design every factory alarm. When you close the door and you lock it, it takes about 40 seconds until the actual factory alarm engages. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pound on the window now and show you anywhere. It protects the whole car from bumper to bumper. The shock sensor, of course, is fully adjustable. He didn't want it real sensitive, but he, we made it sensitive enough in case somebody tries to uh, leave the car in full brakes or break a window that will fire off. But we can make it real sensitive, but it's up to the customer how he wants it. Uh, the more sensitive you go, the, you may get a false trigger here and there. If you can live with that, no big deal. If not, then we uh, always set it so we can prevent that from happening. I'm gonna go ahead and bang on the window. triggers the alarm. This was in a 2018 Toyota Camry. Thank you for watching this video.